Hey folks, Gwei. As of recording this video, the Climate Change Summit in Glasgow, Scotland has come to a close. Hello to all my Glaswegian family. Now, I'm sure you know this Climate Change Summit conference brought, should have brought the best and the brightest, all the world leaders gathering together to talk about what we can do to solve this problem, to help our Earth our world heal, to prevent us from doing more damage. Here in Canada, we just had a, a federal election. We just had a, a provincial election here in Nova Scotia, actually, come to think of it. And in both of those elections, what we heard from people of all political stripes was what they would do about climate change. That it was, it was a big issue. It was something that they were going to, they were prepared to take on. They told us they, they had a way forward, they had a plan. They told us that, that they would be the ones to tackle this challenge. And so we voted for them. We, we voted for these politicians. We voted and put them in office because we believed what they said. We believed that they would do what they said they would do. We believed that they would keep their promises. We believed that they would do the work that we know needs to be done and that they agreed to do. It's time to go to work. That would be my encouragement for all those elected officials. It's time to go to work. You stand in front of the cameras and you tell us that you're on it. Get on it. Let's see it. Now, it would be nice and simple, and as a matter of fact, I've done this video a couple of times, and in the first two or three, I ranted. And I can feel that spirit coming up inside me again. But as we can point to them and say, they said they would do the work that needs to be done, as we can point to them and say, they said they understood this was a problem, as we can point to those leaders who went to Glasgow, Scotland, to, to have this conference to to, to get their pictures taken with one another, to have those sound bites in the news telling us that they were on it. We also have that same responsibility because we know it is a huge challenge. We know this is a huge issue. We know that there's lots of work to do. And while I would love to sit here, and as I said, I have, at least in two videos, I would love to sit here, point my finger and say, Justin Trudeau, get to work. Enough with your popularity contest. I want to see you actually do what you said you would do. I must also look in the mirror and say, Ed Travers, what are you doing? How are you moving forward? What's your plan? How are you? How are you personally going to be making changes? How can you encourage those you, you influence to make those changes? It's been a long time coming. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a video before, but when I was 12 years old, 12 years old, got grade six or seven, somewhere in there, I gave a talk about the greenhouse effect. To my class, I gave a talk about the greenhouse effects. As a 12-year-old, I had heard the scientists and I had heard it in the news that there was this thing happening, that our earth was heating up. It was heating up just slight percentages each year. Tiny, tiny percentages each year. But over, over the years, over the decades, that was going to make this world unlivable. It was going to change our way of life so drastically that we just simply wouldn't recognize it. That was 37 years ago. 37 years ago. Scientists have been talking about this for at least 37 years and obviously longer. The news, the media has been offering this to the public for at least 37 years, but probably longer. Jesus tells us, 
He says, let our yes be yes and our no be no. Now, in the church, we often translate that and we, we apply that in our lives to say things like, you know, maybe we, shouldn't make, we shouldn't swear oaths. We shouldn't make promises. We shouldn't make promises we're not willing to keep. But it's a matter, actually, I think, of integrity. We are meant to be people of integrity. We are meant to be people of action. It's time for all of us to let our yes be yes and our no be no. It's time for us to make uncomfortable decisions. It's time for us to sacrifice aspects of our life that we've grown so accustomed to and so desirous of, to let go of things that have made life so incredibly convenient. It's time for us to do the little things that we can do to help this planet, to help our species, to help the ecosystem, to help the future generations of all of God's creation. It's time for all of us to put everyone else in our thoughts and to make decisions based on, on the community the society. It's time for us to let our yes be yes and our no be no. It's time for us to put our money where our mouth is. And just in case you're afraid that I might be ranting or, or chastising you, I'm not. It's time for me. It's time for me to take this stuff as seriously as I believe it needs to be taken by our politicians. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. I pray that we'll help each other along this journey. I pray that you will help me. I pray that you will challenge me. And I pray that I can do the same for you. Because it's together as individuals and as families and as small groups that, that we can play our part. That we can do the right thing for, for this world and for every living thing on it. Amen. Namultus.